Here's a question from Monica. My last depot shot was in January and I got my period back in August and it has been regular. I'm trying to conceive. Does this mean I'm not ovulating? Great question. Is Monica ovulating? What is a depot shot anyway? Stay tuned. A depot injection is a slow release form of medication. This makes the medication last for a longer period of time. In the fertility world, there are two kinds of depot medications that are used commonly. One is depot Lupron, the other is depot Provera. Let's talk about depot Lupron first. Lupron is a brand name for the medication Luprolide Acetate. This is a medication known as a GnRH agonist. These medications act on your pituitary gland. Normally, the pituitary gland produces hormones that cause eggs to develop in the ovaries and trigger ovulation. GnRH agonists like Lupron shut down the pituitary gland so the levels of those hormones get very low. As a result, eggs won't develop and ovulation won't occur. Short-acting versions of Lupron are given every day. They are commonly used during IVF cycles to prevent ovulation from occurring. Long-acting Lupron, that is deep Lupron can be given once a month. Some are given once every three, four, or even six months. In women, Depot Lupron is used to treat endometriosis or uterine fibroids. The other Depot medication is called Depo Provera. Provera is a type of progesterone known as medroxyprogesterone acetate, or MPA. Depo Provera prevents ovulation and makes the cervical mucus thick, so it is primarily used as as birth control. Use of Depot Provera is much more common than Depot Lupron. Each injection of Depot Provera helps prevent pregnancy for about three months. Usually, when I get asked about a Depot shot, like in Monica's question, they are talking about Depot Provera. Important thing to know about Depot Provera after it is injected, it gets stored in fat. As a result, it can sometimes block ovulation for longer than three months. People who have more fat cells may store Depot Provera for a longer period of time, and so they are more likely to have ovulation problems even after they stop getting the injections. In Monica's question, Let's assume she got her last shot on January 1st. We would not expect her to ovulate or get a period until the end of March. She didn't get a period until August, so there was likely Depo Provera still in her body for another four to five months. She was not ovulating during that time. However, since August, her periods have been coming regularly. She doesn't specify what she means by regular. Assuming that she is getting a period once a month, then it is likely that she is now ovulating. Therefore, we would not expect that the Depo Provera is causing any further problems and she should therefore have a normal chance for getting pregnant now. Infertility TV is your most trusted source for accurate information on infertility and miscarriage. If you are not a subscriber yet, hit the subscribe button right now. A new episode is released every week. Don't miss any episodes. You can also check us out on our website, ivf1.com, where you can become a patient.